Hello, my name is Cody Dunn, and I'm one of the authors of GraphTrail, a network analysis tool we've created for exploring large network data sets with multiple node types. We call these heterogeneous networks, and an example can be seen here in the GraphTrail interface. It is a citation network data set of 10 years of the CHI conference, with papers, authors, and proceedings of some of the node types. Additionally, each of these node types has many attributes associated with it. Before you is a hybrid bar chart that we've created, and it's currently of all papers in the data set, which you can see here from the title and icon in the top left. Each bar represents an aggregate of paper nodes. They're currently grouped by the topic, or it was manually annotated, to each of the papers, and we can see a couple of patterns here. First off, we can see the largest topics in the CHI publication data set here, lab reports, applications, and web, followed by multimodal UI and CSCW. We also see that the InfoViz papers have an enormous number of self-citations. That is, InfoViz papers tend to cite other InfoViz papers. Additionally, if we follow these links counterclockwise, we see that CSCW papers tend to cite InfoViz free papers very frequently, although there's not the reciprocal edge coming back. Now, instead of exploring the papers in the data set, we can look at the authors. We can pivot from papers to authors, and this moves from all the papers to all their connected authors, and now we have authors grouped by country, which is their default attribute. We can group them by the state that they're in, and then we can see the distribution of states. The majority are unknown, but say we want to explore a certain research group from Georgia. You know, we know that there's some ACI research going in Georgia. We want to find out what it is. So we can drag our canvas over to the side here to give us a little bit more room, mouse over the Georgia state bar, and pull it out to create a new chart using this drag and drop filtering. That creates a new chart with just that subset of the data. And then we can mouse over this parent link to see where we pulled the data from. So Georgia in the parent chart is highlighted, and then the root chart up at the top is completely highlighted because we used all of its data. Now that we have our authors from Georgia, we can group them by affiliation. This gives us all the affiliations in Georgia, and it's kind of hard to read. So instead of a bar chart, we can look at this as a tag cloud chart where we can see the labels a little bit more easily. And to help with deduplication problems, we can sort them alphabetically. And so now we see that there's that big Georgia tech that we saw before, but additionally, there's the variant Georgia Institute of Technology, Georgia Institute of Technology, Atlanta, Georgia, and so on. So we want to actually look at all of these institutions because they all mean the same. We want to remove the duplicates from this data. We can zoom out, you know, give us a little bit more room, zoom back in. And then we can pull out each of these Georgia Techs into this new chart, creating the union of these subsets of the data. And to verify what we did and actually check, make sure we got them all, we can mouse over the parent link, see all the ones that were pulled out. And in this query box, we could actually read a fake SQL query that would recreate this. So now we have all the authors from all the, all the Georgia Techs, and we can look at who are the most prolific authors. So to do that, we can pivot back to the papers. So this goes from all the Georgia Tech authors to their connected papers, and we have them grouped by topic, again, the default attribute. Instead, we can group them by the author. And we have Elizabeth Minat standing out right here as the most prolific author in that data set. Again, to read it as a tag cloud chart, we could create a, another view of the same data set, just clone the chart right next to it, grouped by the author name, change it to a tag cloud chart, and we see Elizabeth Minot stand out. And if we wanted to see a bunch of other authors, we can add them as well. And looking back at the bar chart, we can actually see the citation patterns between authors at Georgia Tech. Because Elizabeth Minot is such a prolific author, we might want to explore her further. We can drag her out and explore what she works on. So these are Elizabeth Minot's papers. We can group them by the topic again, see what topics she publishes in, go back to a tag cloud chart to be able to read things a little bit better, and we decide that we want to explore her CSCW papers. We can pull those out, create a detail chart, and read all the information about the eight papers she published in CSCW. We can zoom out to see our entire exploration path and mouse over the parent link to show every operation that we did along the way, as well as use tool tips to see exactly what each of those operations were.